get business commentary on Web3 news related to NFTs, crypto, metaverse, and more. The show is streaming to you from Dubai, the global crypto capital. Welcome, I'm Ayman Aitani, your host and guide to the exciting new world of Web 3.0. In the show, we hear from Gary V on the sensitive topic of accountability. We will also hear from Avery Akinani about missing out on NFT opportunities. Plus, we examine how the long-standing tradition of gallery creation is changing with NFTs. Finally, we cannot get our kids off their iPads, but there is a solution to making their time more productive. I believe our infatuation with the lack of accountability is leading to incredible anxiety that so many people would be so much happier if they had the mental capacity and the emotional capacity to say, this is my fault. This isn't working because of me. Because the second you give up accountability, you feel not in control and it leads to a lot of aspects. So, you know, the characters are a lot of fun for me because if I can make accountable and popular, through whatever format I deploy the IP in, well then the conversation around accountability can grow in popular culture. And for the last 30 years, I've studied very vigorously how things become the thing we play with it, the framework, the conversation, the words that we've adopted. When I did Empathy Wines as the brand that I wanted to do when I did my direct-to-consumer, my brand, Empathy, if you look at Google Trends on the day I launched it, was not a word that was really at the forefront of popular. The trick is to know how to balance accountability with self-love. Next is missing out on hit NFTs. For those who miss out on big and popular NFTs, uh -huh. what would your message be to them? My message would be, you haven't missed out. Um, it's still so early and there are still new NFT products being born every single day. Right now, it's May 20th, 2022. The NFT market and crypto market and stock market has had a general downturn. So I think there's never been a there's never been a better time to buy if you're in that sort of buying mindset. But more than that, this is a builder's market. And you're gonna see a lot of interesting projects be born out of this period of bear market. So I would say look into the things that are interesting to you. Don't try to chase hype cycles or high floors or you know that quick flip game. It's very hard to do that and to time the market perfectly. It's near impossible to time the market perfectly. But if you buy something because you genuinely like it, you genuinely want to collect it, you genuinely want to be a part of that community, then things like floor price don't matter anymore. If you have not checked my NFT project, nftpowerup.io yet, I suggest you do. Moving on, your next trip to your favorite art gallery will be different with NFTs. With Digital Extravaganza, we actually partnered with uh, different artists, international artists. As an exhibition space in our theater, we featured their artwork. Uh, we have minted their work and we also have uploaded them on a marketplace called Foundation. You can like talk to the AI, you have an interactive floor where you can like uh, play around and then you go into the theater and look at the, the artwork, the digital artwork of our main artists and after that the NFT drops of our open call winners. I like to think of Toda as an avenue for these artists to get their artwork featured by not only people who are interested in digital art but also people who are curious about digital art and what NFT is all about. The traditional mindset of an artist is that they create art and people appreciate them. So they create art, they sell it. We will have more on NFTs and Web3 in our next video. So do not forget to follow or subscribe if you want to know more about Web3. I'm Ayman Aitani and I'll leave you with how my kids and yours are on their iPads all day with a potential solution as parents can try. If your kids are like mine, they are on the iPad all day consuming other people's content. What can we do as parents to turn their time on electronics to be more productive? We can try to get them to create, not only consume. For example, the Apple Store has free classes on editing videos, taking pictures, drawing, creating music, and so on. Some classes even walk them in the mall to take photos and videos, then go back to the Apple Store to put the story together, all for free. A note to us parents who prefer the option of putting the kids somewhere and then roaming around the mall, you need to be with the kids during the class. We can't just uh, dump them there and leave.